What's good, YouTube? It's the kid, DC Wrestling. Man, we back at it once again. I ain't gonna waste any more time. I'm gonna get right into it. There's a couple of news items I want to discuss here, mainly, particularly out of last night's NXT. I didn't watch the show live. I, I was watching most of the highlights on social media and YouTube, but judging what I saw and seeing the reaction and the craziness that went down on last night's NXT, I was like, let me go ahead and talk about it, obviously, today. But right now... The first thing I want to discuss, get it out of the way, what I want to talk about AEW for a minute. There's been some people out of AEW that have publicly announced that they're not coming back, you know, contract expiring, and them and AEW just haven't been able to come to the decision to, you know, an agreement, so they're no longer with the promotion. Mark Henry recently came out on Busted Open and said he wasn't coming back. Arn Anderson, on his own show, I want to say, revealed he won't come back. And now it's not really being reported, but it's true. Jake Hager is not coming back to AEW. His contract expired. This was actually a picture of his last match in AEW against Roderick Strong. Obviously, if you follow Jake Hager, he debuted on the Dynamite episode and um, you know was with Chris Jericho throughout a majority of his AEW run until um, we all saw what happened. But y'all know me. If you don't know me, um, I, I don't care about... Jack Swagger, so I, you know, you can already put in the whole, you know, WWE brings them back. That is going to be Triple H's biggest task to date, to get Jack Swagger over. Do something that nobody's been able to do in the past 10 years, and that's make Jack Swagger interesting. They put the world title on this dude, and to this day, 10, 11, 12, something years later, Jack Swagger is still one of the wor worst world heavyweight champions of all time. This Dollar Tree... Family Dollar version of Kurt Angle couldn't attest to anything in WWE. And then even in AEW, couldn't even test to anything. I didn't care anything about him in WWE. Outside of his debut, I didn't care anything much about him in AEW. So, I don't know. He still has his MMA career. He could continue that. But then again, I, I think he retired. So, I don't know what the hell this dude going to do. But, I mean, it is what it is at the end of the day. And um, that's pretty much about it. So, now let's get on to NXT, man, you know, because I don't think, if it hasn't already been fully established, you know, everyone talks about how Triple H is the head booker of the year or Tony Khan is still the head booker of the year. I, I think we really need to just give that award to Shawn Michaels. I think Shawn Michaels just proved last night in NXT why NXT is just so good and why people enjoy it for, from an overall standpoint. And um, and they're cooking, man. They're, their next pay-per-view battleground, they're cooking, man. But last night, they had Sexy Red show up. And, you know, if you don't know Sexy Red, she's an artist, singer. I'm not going to lie to you. If you follow the music industry, I, I personally think Sexy Red is an industry plant. I don't care about her. I don't really care about her music. She recently had a song with Drake, which I'm kind of surprised Drake is even alive. I could have sworn Kung Fu, Kenny, Kendrick Lamar killed him, but... That's either here nor there, <laughs> but she came out on NXT. She revealed the new NXT North American title for the woman, which the fact that the women on NXT, that there's a mid card title for the women on NXT, a single, another singles woman's title on NXT and the main roster doesn't have one. That's crazy because you look at the tag team division and I feel like they might just have to just get rid of the tag team titles and just bring a mid-card belt for the women for both Raw and SmackDown. But again, that's either here nor there. And that's a, a video on its own. But yeah, Sexy Red was going crazy last night. Booker T was going crazy. Oh my goodness. Like, <laughs> Booker T was off the chain, man. Like, you, you know how Booker T get when he sees his women. But bro, he was on another level when Sexy Red showed up. And I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't even think Sexy Red is all that, especially in terms of beauty. Sexy Red would be the last person I would date if we went to the same school. But again, um, you know, it, hey, WWE, they, they've been doing a lot recently, doing a lot of these social media stuff. Like again, Logan Paul, you know, you had the YouTuber I show speech show up. Um, and this is just going to lead the door opening to more, you know, I mentioned Drake earlier, you know, maybe we can get a Drake and Kendrick Lamar feud, you know, that would, oof, that would definitely bring in some ratings. But then again, I think their little personal robbery is over. But yeah, but she was going in, man. Um, this is um, <laughs> this is 
what was some I'm, I screenshotted some of the tweets here, and uh, she had a video where she was like with Shawn Michaels and everything, and this this person said, I, you know, he thinking she lucky it ain't ninety seven me, and if you know Shawn Michaels back in the day before he found the good Lord, you know Shawn Michaels was off the chain, and um, here's another tweet that that said that uh, while Shawn and uh, Sexy Rep was taking a picture. Uh, Shawn Michaels basically was like, come to daddy sugar. So I was like, yo, what the, what? I'm telling you, Shawn Michaels, man. <laughs> he, I think for that one night, he, even he forgot, wait a minute, I'm, I, I got a family, you know, I'm a, I'm a Christian man. Um, but yeah, man. And she's hosting Battleground, I, I think she also mentioned. So I'm like, oh Lord. But, um, I mean, like I said, you know, it is what it is. You know, it was just crazy though. But I told you last night's NXT was crazy because it even gets more shocking. Jordan Grace shows up. We last saw her at the Royal Rumble. And at the time, I'm like, okay, a little one-off appearance, you know, kind of like when they brought in Mickey James, you know, the other year. So that's pretty cool. But nah, Jordan Grace, TNA, Knockouts champion, is facing Roxanne at the, at the pay-per-view and I'm sitting here like what the what um this is dope you know Jordan Gracie is really good at what she does I think her and Roxanne are gonna kill it but it just it was so shocking because nobody expected it nobody was like oh yeah it's gonna be Jordan Gracie or it was even rumored to be Jordan Gracie that's what made the moment so shocking when her music hit and everyone was like yo what in the world um so it's gonna be good you know what? I think what they should do, they might not do it, but bro, I think it'd be a little cool if we get Roxanne showing up on TNA and just attacking Jordan Gracie because they got like another week or so before the pay-per-view. So I say like they can easily do it if if they haven't already filmed or taped any other TNA episodes. Um, But this is basically getting more info on the TNA and WWE because... um. The word backstage at tonight's NXT was that Knockouts champion Jordan Grace appearing tonight and at Battleground next Sunday will not only will not be the only WWE and TNA collaboration in the days ahead. The belief is that there will be some sort of NXT representation of future TNA events and programming as well. So, you know, the fantasy bookers are going crazy on this one. And, you know, I think of WWE and TNA, I think that collaboration if that's the case, if that's the route they legitimately go, I think that would be good. Really for TNA, man, you know, they just brought back the name. They're really trying to get themselves up there. And even a small collaboration with WWE, I think, would definitely do TNA wonders, man. So I, I say go for it. If they want to do it, I say go for it. But the big shocker of the night was this. Ethan Page showing up. And attacking Trick Williams, they've been doing this little storyline on who's been attacking the metaphor guys, and it was Ethan Page. So Ethan Page is going after Trick Williams, and I referenced earlier that people from AEW have been leaving. Ethan Page was one of those. His contract, well, they released him a couple weeks ago, and now here he is in NXT. So this is. This is nuts, man. That's all, all I can really say, man. And again, just Shawn Michaels, he's just cooking with NXT. And NXT is just on fire right now. And their next pay-per-view battleground, man, is shaping up to be a really good show. So that's pretty much the video, man. I might have another video come out tomorrow. I'm not really sure. You know, you, you obviously got SmackDown on Friday. But I, I just had to go ahead right now and just give props to Shawn Michaels and the creative team and, you know, what they're doing over there in NXT, man. They're doing some really good stuff, man. 